Republicans need to do something that Republicans normally don't do, and that is to support each other. Uh, I can't tell you how frustrating it was, Alex, for example, back during the impeachment of Bill Clinton, uh, when when I was virtually alone out there calling uh, for first the impeachment inquiry and then the actual impeachment of the president, when the Clinton administration unloaded uh, its 50 cows against me, uh, gathered information, sent Larry Flint and all these other out, other guys out there uh, against me. Uh, I didn't get a single call, a single offer of help uh, from any Republican in the House. Uh, and Republicans have to learn that when the Democrats go after our people, uh, we need to support them. Now, that doesn't mean blind support. That doesn't mean if you have a public official who's a Republican who truly is violating the law, then we do stand for the rule of law, and there ought to be a prosecution. Well, exactly. I mean, look at Tom DeLay. Tom DeLay, because, I mean, I follow campaign finance law. I follow the news for 20 years. What he did is 100% normal, completely standard, but they had the corrupt district attorney on record that prosecutes conservatives and libertarians all over the state, go after him and, and, and spend millions of dollars and three trials, and he finally, you know, finally won. But like you said last time, how do you get your name back? While meanwhile, the Democrats do whatever they want because Republicans will never go after them to the point of Bill Clinton with all the sexual predator stuff, not just sexual harassment, but settling cases of rape and all this. And then he's their number one fundraiser. They have no shame. The Republicans could destroy the Democrats on Benghazi, destroy them on Fast and Furious, destroy them on Obamacare, destroy them on open borders, destroy them on Solyndra, destroy them. But they won't because they all just want to play ball like Boehner up there, patty caking everybody. It is incredible. It is incredible. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned my good friend Tom DeLay, uh, and I was one of the few people that, uh, you know, that supported him throughout the, uh, the, the, the persecution that he underwent. Of course, I was talking to him recently, and he said now he's got all sorts of friends that want to help him yeah. uh, where, where, when, when he needed them. But that is a prime example of what they did to Tom DeLay. And they will do it over and over and over again. They're they're doing it to Republicans now, and we simply uh, uh, our people will not stand up. They get allow themselves to be browbeaten like Hillary Clinton browbeat the uh, the committee when she was before them on Benghazi, uh, saying what difference does what it make? What difference does it make? Uh, and we yeah. see it over and over and over again. It's disgusting. I, and again. If Republicans get into power and they're violating the Bill of Rights Constitution, I'm going to speak out like you've done. It's that the Democrats are going for broke because they can see the world's waking up to them, that there's a major libertarian awakening worldwide, that the Financial Times, Pew Research, everyone sees it for real constitutional ideas, what made America great, what made America have soft power, what made America be respected worldwide. People are hungry for that, including in government and the corporate world, and they can feel the fact that that they are in trouble, and, and that's why they're going for broke. Do you agree with that statement? Absolutely. Uh, it is absolutely tr true. I see it in, in, in my race. I see it in other races uh, going on uh, around the country. Uh, the Democrats are, are sort of like uh, the old uh, Fabian Society in the, in the U.K. Uh, they, uh, they simply work their way into the bureaucracies. They're like the United Nations. They work their way in, uh, and they know that they can outlast their opponents uh, because their, their opponents will wear down, will leave office, and so forth. So they just outlast them. The Democrats uh, know that, and they also know they know how to go for the jugular, uh, and very few of our people do, uh, Alex. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. 
Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com. And your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.